on uh, what he tells you. You will not, you will not lose it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> like for example, when um, I, 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 I misplace something. When I misplace something, right? Not that it's yes. not. And I misplace it, and I'm asking the Holy Spirit, please help me. Where did I put this? And I'm stressful, and and my heart is beating, and and I'm I'm, I'm disturbing my mind. Even when he talks and he's teaching me that this is where it is, I don't, I don't see it. So what he's saying is true. You have to calm down. Yeah. And I can help you calm. Okay. Wow. Good revelation. That's good. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Let's ask Victoria to read for us the passage for last Sunday. We still want to go back to that passage. Thank you so much. Welcome to our broadcast. This is the Most Reverend Dikai Mary, His Excellency. Thank you so much for coming to our broadcast, coming to our channel. It's a privilege for me to serve for me to minister spirit and life to you. Vicky, we are ready. Hallelujah. Numbers chapter 21, verse 4 through 9. Then they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to go around the land of Edom. And the soul of the people became very discouraged on the way. And the people spoke again against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? <laughs> For there is no food and no water, and our soul rose with worthless bread. <laughs> so the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and the and many of the people, and many of the people of Israel died. <clears throat> Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. So we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people. Then the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole. And it shall be that everyone who is bitten, when he looks at it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a pole. And so it was. If a serpent had bitten anyone, when he looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Uh, are you aware that tonight I want to reveal to you something so special? You are going to begin to apply what I'm about to give to you. I'm giving you something. I'm giving you something. When the demons in either the one or the two crazy people that were living among the tombs by the hills, did you not hear where the scripture says that the demons in the man or in the two men, depending on which gospel you are reading that narrative, did you not hear that the legions 
We tell you it was a demonic invention, invasion. They invaded the man's life. Or the two men's life. Lives. They begged Jesus to allow them to go and enter into pigs. Demons, demonic presence, demons can enter into anything. A ring, a tree, an animal. Nature. Every move of nature is not nature in outrage. Sometimes is demonic presence. Also, fallen angelic presence can enter into anything, can possess from human beings. I'm saying fallen angelic presence, their very presence, can possess a human being mightily, can possess a tree, can possess nature, walked up nature, can possess animals, insects, snakes, a ring, a house, When I use the word devils, listen carefully. When you hear me use the word devils, I'm referring to ancient beings, ancient rebellious beings. I'm also referring to physical human beings who have joined their company, whether they are alive or whether they are dead. Now, if fallen angels, their presence, if demons, their entire person, see how I differentiate it. Fallen angels, their presence, demons, and other fallen entities that are not fallen angels. These are different, these are different, different. These are different, different beings. Supernatural beings. Just as us, we are supernatural beings. I hope you know that. I am a supernatural being. If you didn't know it, know it now. I am a supernatural being. If you don't know that you qualify for that and that you are that, that's your problem. I am not looking... For spirit, because I'm a spirit. I'm looking, I'm I'm looking. I worship God. I'm not looking for God. I'm not searching for God. I already have him. Nobody can show me God. Nobody can tell me about him. Nobody can sell me God in a book or in a tape. Why? Because Jesus dwells in me. The Holy Spirit is in me. He lives. They live in me. So I'm not going about looking for God or looking for Jesus or looking for the Holy Ghost. If you are going about looking for those things, that's why you are having problems. Because they possess me and they carry me. In the reading in the book of Numbers that Victoria just read to us, we see that rebellion brings about serpents. Serpents brings about poison. 
Their poison brings about death. But that is not what I want to talk to you about. I'll talk to you about that this week. About what 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 will this serpent and their poison and they are killing the people by beating them, biting them. But what I'm interested in tonight that I have been summoned and asked to go and talk to you about and pass some powers to you tonight. Is this because right from the morning, Mary and I we've, we've been on fire, and Vicky we've been on fire. If Mary is to tell you guys what happened during a deliverance encounter this morning, you all will be shocked. Yes, don't think that all I do is come and give a message. I'm looking for people that I can pour power on. People that I can deliver from oppression and from demons and fallen angels and other entities that have taken authority over you. I'm looking for people to deliver. I'm looking for people to make rich. I'm looking for people to prosper. I'm looking for people to build. So listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you tonight. God told Moses, Make a bronze serpent. Make a serpent that looks like the one that is biting the hell out of them or into them. <laughs> I'm killing them. <laughs> Make a serpent like that. But with the bronze. Put it on a pole. Whoever looked. See, they didn't need to do any sacrifice. Just look at it. No prayer, nothing. You just look and you are healed. Haba. Hey. All of you, Jukokoro. All of you, Jukokoro, out there. Listen to me. I use the word Jukokoro. <laughs> Every one of you who is an Jukokoro out there, listen carefully to what I'm saying tonight. See, they were not asked to pray. They were not asked to sacrifice. They were not asked to offer blood. They were just asked, if you got bitten, if the snake bites you, because you are among the rebels, if the snake bites you, because of your stubbornness, just look at that tall pole with the snake hanging on it. So, why was a lifeless image healing people of so that they didn't swell and die? Some of them have already died. But why is it that you just look? You see, it must have been a long, tall pole with the uh, bronze serpent hanging on the pole. You look at it, and you are you are cured. Interesting, isn't it? I am talking to all the Ojuko crew tonight, all over the world. I'm talking to all of you. Because you don't believe in the power of God. Since you don't believe in the power of God, stop going to church and disturbing the rest of us. Stop going to church. Because if you don't believe in this kind of power, so all you are doing in going to church is you are going to find women or men. You are going to look for who is wearing the next design that was designed by a, by a Annie of uh, Brooklyn. I think she's I think she sews clothes. Yeah. Or that was designed by a, 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 somebody somewhere. I don't know of uh, people in fashion and design. You know? Hey! Or that was designed by one. I think he said he's into designing or something like that. Yeah. So, all you need to do is look. Look, look, and you are good. And now you can go away with your shame and dishonor for rebelling against God. Even though you are cured, still know that you have shame. Devils have no shame. Devil have no, sh no sense. <laughs> uh, you look, you look, look, you are healed. You are cured. 
The poison simply just dissolve. How come? So what was inside the bronze serpent? That's what I am interested in knowing. Whoa. What was inside the bronze serpent that all you need to do is just look? And you look, look, you are cured. So let me reveal it to you. I want all, all the jumbo jumbo people out there. Listen carefully. <laughs> what is you know, all the jumbo jumbo people. Okay? Who don't believe in this kind of thing? And yet you are talking about Jesus. Yeah, and you are clapping, you are dancing in the church. But when it comes to the real thing, you, you turn to something else. You can't even believe. You become a jumbo jumbo. So listen carefully. What was <laughs> Andy, stop making me laugh. You and Mary, stop making me laugh tonight. <laughs> oh, gosh. Jumbo, jumbo. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, listen to this. What was inside? The this serpent that they put up there is not alive. Oh, it's a dead serpent. It's a dead day. It's not. It's not a serpent. It's just an image. It's just an image. You know, made with a bronze. I they cast it in the fire and bring and brought it out and they put it there. And they hang it in a very tall so that wherever you are, you can see it. And do you know anybody who to, do? Who by oh stay don't bite me oh ah, woo woo a few minutes you start to shake because if God if God sends snake to bite it's a real good snake it can bite very well and it can really really put poison on people this was really poisonous snakes to really teach them a lesson that's why it is not good to doubt God it's not good. To be afraid of uh, devils and demons and all of this and people. Instead of, instead of looking up to God and say, God, I don't have anybody to help me. Please help me. Help me. Instead of complaining and whining. Complain will not take you anywhere. Complain will destroy you. So what was inside this bronze serpent? That was put up in a pool for anybody to see and get cured and not die. Number one, Vivian, I know that you like this kind of thing. You want you want to hear this. Yeah, where is Vigel? Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Yes, so she likes this kind of things. I don't know why. She likes this kind of a, a, a magic or miracle or or a mansiology or jumbo jumbo. She like it, you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so what was inside this bronze we don't hear anywhere where God told Moses to consecrate that uh, that, uh, that uh, image uh, 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 snake the snake image a uh, bronze serpent we don't hear where he said he should consecrate it we don't hear where he said he should call Aaron to come and pour holy water on it and put incense around it and uh, make it holy. Nothing. Just make one and hang it up there. And he did. And anybody who looked, it worked for them. Hey! I like this kind of God who. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I like it. Yes, yeah, so. So what was inside it? Number one. Vicky, anybody who want can go back to Sam. The Sam, uh, the Sam of last Sunday. And read it to us. When you see it, you stop me. So that I will, I will, I will use that to tell you what was inside, inside the snake, inside the the dumb snake, the 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 the, 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 the this thing. What do we call it? The uh, image snake, the the snake of bronze, of bronze. So if you find that some, you read it. Let me tell you some of the things that are inside that snake. Because you need to know what was inside there. Why that snake was... Why, why a snake that was not alive? Something that was made with human hands. You see, Moses made it. Whether he himself made it or others made it for him. But it was made and they put it up there. 
So if you find that psalm, start reading. Oh, I beg, start reading. Yeah. Anybody who sees, stop me and start reading. Uh -huh. Let's go straight to what was inside it. Uh -huh. This was not magical. Someone. Okay. Someone. Okay. Okay, Mary, did you find it? Yes. Okay, read it to us, Mother Mary. Read it to us, please. Psalm 107, from 1, verse 1 to 3, 17 to 22. Huh. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Uh -huh. let, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Uh -huh. Those who, who he redeemed from trouble and gather in from the land, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some were sick through their sinful ways and because of their iniquities, endured affliction. Good. They loved any kind of food and they drew near to the gates yes. of death. Yes. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. He, he sent out his, his words and kill them. Stop there. And deliver, deliver them from all their destruction. Their destruction. Stop there. That's all I want. Okay. He sent forth his word and he did what? He them. And he healed, he healed them. them. So number one, when God said to Moses, make a bronze serpent. Remember that any time God opened his mouth and said something, he's not joking. He does not joke. Anytime God opens his mouth, that's why Jesus don't just talk. People who will tell you today, Jesus came and visited me and told me this. Next day, the Holy Spirit told me this. Next day, God the Father told me this. Next day, I dream this. Next day, those people need their head to be checked. You see, even my phone say, hallelujah. He say, yes, that's true. And you can hear that. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who tell you that God visits them every day, they need to go and see a neuropsychiatric doctor to get to what we call we call them in Africa. They need to go and see a crazy doctor because those doctors that treat, that uh, treat the the doctors that treat uh, that treat uh, mad people, crazy people, people who lost their mind, we call them we call them crazy doctors. Nurses that uh, take care of those kind of people, we call them a uh, crazy nurse. Uh -huh. So they need to go and see a crazy doctor or a crazy nurse. They need to go and do that to get their head properly checked. Because those kind of people, they will lead you to, to their own destruction and they will destroy you as well. Or you will be a casualty. Or you will be destroyed by default. <laughs> so the first thing you see when God speaks and said, Make a bronze serpent, hang it on a pole. Anyone who is bitten by the snake, if they look, they will be healed. They will be cured. It means that the word from that word that he spoke, it did not mean that he spoke again after that. That word that he said, do this. Immediately Moses did the what God commanded him. That word of God. That he said to Moses, make a bronze image, cast one out, and put it on a pole where everyone can see it. Anyone who look up and see it, anyone who look at it, will be cured, will be healed. That word of God entered into that bronze, uh, uh, bronze serpent and fastened itself, and fastened itself on that brown serpent and stay there are you guys getting it that word of god fastened itself on that bronze serpent that was why for a long time 
The brazen serpent after that was part of what was carried in the ark. It was carried in the tabernacle. Manna was also carried. All the big things that has happened become part of the tabernacle. Yes. So that word of God that he spoke to Moses and said, make a bronze image, a, a bronze serpent image, put it on a pole. Whoever look at it will be healed. Immediately Moses obeyed. Automatically that word was waiting for Moses to make the bronze, to tell the people to make or whoever does those kind of things for them to make it. Immediately it was made, Moses carried it, put it on a pole, BAM! That word of God that was waiting, because when God speaks, his word begins to wait, to accomplish, to find somebody who will obey that word. When once you decide to obey that word, then the power of God, that, then, then that word of God, it will be waiting on, when once he finds someone who is willing to carry it out, BAM! When once it's carried out, BAM! That word enters into that thing and stays in it. And then it begins to function. And then it begins, number two, when the word entered into that thing, that word becomes different things. And this is what it produces. Number one, the power of God follows the word of God. Wherever you find the word of God, you find wherever God speaks, you see the power of God automatically begin to speak. Automatically. Wherever you find God's word in action, like inside something, if God's word fasten itself on something, that thing automatically begin to release, exude, manifest, expose, explode, reveal, you know, the power of God automatically, automatically. So there is nothing like the word of God is there, on, uh, fast, fasten itself on something. Now you need to go and bring the power of God to come and put on that thing. No, you got the word inside a thing, you got the power inside the thing automatically. Next, next. Because the word now, the word he spoke to Moses, now is fastening itself, has fastened itself on the bronze serpent. Now the presence of God automatically fastened itself on that thing also. Yes. And why did he say, <laughs> yes, why did he say, put it on a pole and raise it up high where everyone in the camp can see it? even from afar. Why? Because when the word of God has fastened itself onto something, the presence of God begins to shine out of that thing. So while they are far away, let's say the, the serpent, the, the snake bite them far away, and they run out of their tent, of their houses, shouting, oh, I've been bitten by the snake. Oh, I've been bitten by the snake. Then immediately they come out of their tent, and they look at it, BAM! The shining of God, the presence of God remotely hit them automatically, BAM! Because it is in that snake. Therefore, they are looking, you see, what you see is what you are going to reproduce. So, their eyes is looking at the bronze serpent, the bronze serpent is looking at them. So, it is not actually the bronze serpent, it is the word of God, the power of God, the presence of God, the brightness of God, the shining of God, the light of God. So when they look, their eyes meet the eyes of God in that bronze serpent and automatically they are cured. <laughs> yes. yes, and then also, yes, and also too, also too, when the word enters into something, it produces automatically, it comes. The whole package, whenever you see God speak, whether he speaks a little bit, whether he speaks a whole lot, whenever he speaks, that word automatically carries with it other things too. It carries automatic health. It carries, it carries the health that America is quarreling. 
they don't want to give everybody health care. Automatically, the word of God carries with it health care package is in it. It automatically also carries prosperity package is in it. Because now you are healthy. You can now go back to your job and prosper. It's all in that package. That was what God was looking, showing them. Next, why do they need to come out of their tent and look at and look at the bronze serpent? It means that they were told, don't stay in your in your in your house. If you stay in your house with the poison of a serpent in your body, you'll die in there. <laughs> Get out of your house and look up to heaven. Heaven is looking at you and waiting at waiting for you. So they did not need, each person did not need to go and make his own uh, br uh, bronze serpent and hang it somewhere. There is one already that has been made. A privilege, it means that you are called to privilege. You are called to privilege. You are called to privilege. And so your ability to leave your house and come out to look is one thing. It is what you look will reproduce itself in you. What you are looking for will reproduce itself in you. You are looking for healing and you are looking for it God's way. If you are looking for healing God's way and you begin to say, God, I come here to look for you, it will automatically, your eyes and the eyes of your spirit, the eyes of your mind, your physical eyes will zoom in. It will all zoom in. Excuse me here. It will zoom in. It will zoom in into what is standing before you. God is waiting for you. You don't need to wait for God. The bronze serpent is already there waiting for you. Go out and see it. And get your own. Privilege has already been packaged and put waiting for you. If anything happened, all you need to go is go out and look at it and say, I am part of this privilege. And because I'm part of this privilege, I get everything that is in this privilege package. And everything begins to happen to you. Tonight, I have been sent to tell you something very special. And that is what I've just told you. But I'm going to reveal more to you. The word of God you are going to ask God tonight. This is powerful prayer. You are going to ask God tonight to fasten his word, whether from the Bible or directly from heaven or prophetically from my mouth. He's going to fasten it on your very life. Number two, he's going to fasten his word that contained the entire package. He's going to fasten it on the life of your children. He is going to fasten it Amen. on the life of your family members who qualify for this kind of privileges. Amen. Next, he's going to fasten it upon your car. He's going to fasten his word upon your money, upon your paycheck, so that it because whatever the word touches, it multiplies. That's what it does. It heals, it prospers, it, it, it brings you back to youthfulness. Listen to me carefully. The word of God is going to fasten itself on your house, on your on the physical building that you are dwelling in. If ghosts, if ghosts are able to fasten themselves, demons and fallen angels are able to fasten their presence and their personality on a house, on a tree, on a ring, on oils, on different things. Why do you think that the word of God will not do more than that? Please listen carefully to me. Tonight you are going to ask God to fasten his word which contains the entire package. Health, youthfulness, prosperity, money, material resources, salvation, all kind of stuff that you need. Everything you ever wish for is there. All you need to do is look at the, the privilege package. The privilege package is waiting for you. This is powerful prayer. This is powerful prayer. Whoever look, what you are looking for will automatically look at you. What you, are, what you are looking for will automatically look at you. When once your eyes catches his eyes, when once your luku luku catches his luku luku, boom, the miracle begin to happen. So tonight, I want you to look at Jesus hanging on the cross and said, Lord, 
I leave my bedroom. I leave where I sleep. I am standing right now in the church with Idikai Mary. And I'm looking. My eyes is looking into your eyes. Your eyes is looking at me. Give me what I want. And I get it now. I am getting it now. Not tomorrow. There is no place for doubt. There is no place for fear. You know, I have been bitten enough by the poison of doubt. Poison of fear. Poison of disappointment. Poison of rejection. Poison of problem. Poison of divorce. Poison of death in the family. Now, poison of sickness of different kinds. Poison of COVID-19. Poison of closed job. Poison of betrayals. Poison of rejection and disappointment. Now, it's over. Lift up your hand and begin to pray. And say it, all my problems are over. Begin to pray, all my problems are over. Begin to pray, powerful prayer. All my problems are over. Mary, write it down as, our, as the title for this video. All your problems are over right now. Pray, pray, pray. Begin to 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 pray. All your problems are over. Look. What you are looking is looking at you. What you are looking is looking at you. You are looking at Jesus. He's looking at you. You are looking at the Holy Ghost. He's looking at you. You are looking at the angels. They are looking at you. You are looking at God the Father. He's looking at you. All your problems are over. Do not forget to go to our website and contact me. Contact us. Call us. Buy our product. Visit our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Write beautiful comments. Give your donation to us. Send us your tithe and offerings. Join us and become a partner. And the Almighty God, the rest belongs to Him. He has done it for you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm 